Hi everyone, welcome to our Swiss Bag Company YouTube channel. I am today going to be discussing the lock issue for this particular tourist model. This is the latest tourist model with the latest lock system on it. What you're going to need today is, uh, first of all, you're going to need some light. You can use it from your mobile phone, for example, and you're going to need a little pointy object something like a small screwdriver, like this one, or in my particular case, I'm gonna use this little pointy edge metal rod. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the lights of my projector to make things clearer for you. Here we go, I'm just gonna turn these lights off. And the next thing I'm gonna do is with the help of the lamp light from my mobile phone, I'm going to zoom in to show you that the first thing you need to do when you want to open this kind of a lock, the first way to know that this is the same lock that you have is that the particularity of it is that the push button is actually round shaped and not square shaped. So that's the first thing you need to make sure that it's round shaped. Then by process of elimination, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the numbers on three zeros. Sometimes your suitcase before it gets programmed, if you push from left to right, like here, you see this small movement, it should release the lock if it hasn't been yet programmed. Obviously, if it's already programmed, it's not gonna work. So now we're gonna see how do we find out what is the actual code. So what you need to do is you need to zoom in on each digit and have a look from the right hand side in this space that is located just here not the left side, the right side. So what you do is you turn the dial, and as you turn the dial, you slightly push it to the left each time to see if you see any changes, like this. Now you see, when I got to the number six here, it's like a shine. It's slightly shiny. If I push it to the left, you can see that it's shiny. If I go back to number five, it's not shiny. So you've got to look directly into the space here from above and there you see there's a line. So you stop there, you go to the next number, you follow the same procedure. I'll try and zoom in a bit more so you can really see it clearly. You see here it's just shiny, shiny, still shiny, still shiny, still shiny, still shiny. Oh. Look, there's like a line. See, there's like a, a line. It's no longer the same texture. So you move to the next number and we do again the same action. We keep on looking. We move our heads left to the right if necessary until we actually notice this particular, the difference. There you go. See, there are two little lines on the right hand side. Here I don't see them, but here I see them. So. Once I found those three combination numbers, all is left to do is to add or withdraw three number, uh, five numbers. So six plus five or six minus five equals one. So I go to the number one. Seven plus or minus five equals two. So I go to the number two. And eight plus five or minus five equals three. Now, if I did my job correctly, when I'm going to push now from left to right, it should open up. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Now, once I found the right code, say this is not the number that you wanted, no worries. All you have to do now is with one finger to push, not let go, set it to the new number. I'm going to set it back to the original three zeros and let go. So now it will open numbers under number three, zero, zero, zero. So if I put it back to three times zeros, I lock it up, I change the code, it won't open up. I go back to three zeros and it opens up. There you go. Please send me your comments and thank you. All the best.